This is my uh, quick product review of the Turnergy Servo Tester. Uh, I just want to do a quick overview of its features and uh, why I think it's important everyone should have one of these. If not the Hobby King brand, at least some form of servo tester. These are quite useful when setting up your model. Uh, this one happens to be, um, uh, I don't know if they call it dual frequency or dual band, so you can do regular and narrow uh, servos. I think the majority of servos we uh, play with are going to be your normal band. Um, it's got a variable dial for testing uh, the range of the servo, um, which can also be used in testing motors, which I'll show here in a little bit. Uh, this one happens to have four outputs, so you can test four servos simultaneously. And it's got your input here for your power. Now, it does say that this is one to three cell LiPo input. Uh, but one thing to uh, keep in mind is that your servos are uh, generally uh, somewhere in between 5 and 6 volts. Uh, this does not have a built-in voltage regulator. So you need to take care in whatever voltage input that you put into the servo tester. That's going to go directly into your servo. So if you put 11.1 uh, .1 volts in, to a servo that can only handle five to six volts max, you will effectively destroy your servo. So just for example, if you happen to have a, a little tiny three cell that happens to have one of these little JST connectors, you can plug it directly in and power the servo tester. But if you were to plug this servo into one of these, these leads, it would destroy that servo because that servo cannot operate on 11.1 .1 volts. So just be forewarned. My recommendation is to simply grab an ESC or a Ubic. Um, most ESCs will have a, if it's a Ubic ESC, it will have a five volt Ubic built in. So you simply take your uh, lead coming off the ESC and plug that into the servo tester. And then you can apply a regular three cell battery or four cell whatever the ESC is capable of plug that in so in essence what we have here is we have the battery feeding the ESC and we have the ESC lead coming into the servo tester and this has a built-in 5 volt 3 amp Ubic, so we are getting 5 volt output into our leads here. So now we can safely plug in our servo into any one of the leads, noting the uh, output leads are uh, negative positive signal. So all you got to do is make sure to line it up, and it doesn't matter which one you use, and plug that in. And it defaults when you're first powered up to manual, which basically means you can spin the knob and get the direction of your servo. You press the button, it goes into center mode. And you can already see how useful that would be because now instead of having to hook up your radio and hook up the receiver and the transmitter to get your servo centered before you apply your linkages, now you can just center them and you're done. And it's also got an auto mode which will basically oscillate the range of the servo and then your uh, knob here becomes a speed so you can do a slow oscillation or crank it up to a fast oscillation. And that's good for testing your throws when, once you have it mounted on the plane, I think. But all in all, a very useful tool, especially, like I said, for centering your servo. Now you get your control horn centered and you can mount this on the plane and you know it's, it's good to go. Now, one other thing you can do with this unit is also test motors. To do that, all you have to do is, instead of plugging the ESC on the side, you plug the ESC on top. Now first, let me grab a test motor. Here we go. Just happen to have a little Turnergy 2200. And we'll just plug that into the ESC real quick. So now we have our motor. Our servo tester. Now, if you note, right now I don't have the 
variable knob set down to zero, it will, uh, it will function much like the throttle stick on your controller. So if I apply, now what you're going to do is plug the ESC's lead into one of the outputs with the battery still plugged into the ESC. And we just got to get this lined up. Here we go. Negative positive signal. And just like it would on your transmitter, because you don't have your throttle stick to dead zero, the ESC will not arm. So simply turn the knob to zero. And now it's armed. And now you can test your motor. And this will act just like your throttle stick. And I have found that zero is actually probably, like I said, it's a couple notches up. So you just got to be prepared for when that kicks in. And of course, never handhold the motor and test it with a prop installed. That's just asking for disaster. So perform at your own risk, obviously. But just to show, <clears throat> this unit is very versatile and can be used, like I say, for testing servos as well as motors. So just wanted to share that. And um, I, like I said, I'm very pleased with this unit. I would recommend it. I mean, it's, it's made out of hard plastic. It, it seems, you know, well made. And like I said before, uh, one caution I would give is note whatever voltage input you put into the servo tester, that's going to be the voltage output. So just keep that in mind with whatever you're testing. Thanks for watching.